guys, assalamu alaikum, thanks for stopping by. I'm Bia, someone who loves to talk about luxury pieces, enjoying life to the fullest, and embracing modest fashion. If you're interested, please consider subscribing so we can be friends. I'd love for you to follow along. Okay, let's talk speedy. I've purchased this bag back in 2015, so I've had it for roughly 7 years now. The way I purchased it was after working an entire summer in college and I wanted to treat myself in getting my first ever LV bag. Now, I obviously haven't carried this bag for 7 years straight, but I did use it multiple multiple times, sometimes for months straight. So I guess I'm credited for this review. This bag can be carried in three different ways. You can carry it top handle, a shoulder bag, or a crossbody bag. I find myself gravitating more towards the shoulder bag and crossbody bag if I'm out shopping or running some errands, you kind of want your hands to be free. Uh, a top handle would be ideal if you're going out on a date or a brunch with some friends because it's more elegant. Now, there are some pros and some cons to this bag. Let's start off with the pros. There is a zipper closure on top, so you don't have to worry about anything falling out of your bag. The bag is made with canvas and treated leather, so there is no transfer on the leather or canvas, and you don't have to worry about the rain or snow. I live in New York City, so we get a lot of rain and snow. There's also a variety of ways to wear the bag, as I've mentioned earlier, there's three different types of ways to wear the bag. And believe it or not, it's very, very spacious. And that kind of leads into the cons of this bag. So Speedy is very infamous for being known as one big black hole. You definitely would need a bag organizer for this bag, or if you just like to throw everything in the bag, this would be ideal for you, I guess. There is one D-ring in the bag and one very small pocket. Tarnishing on the gold hardware. If you're paying a premium for this bag, it should not come with the hardware tarnishing as you can see here. I am someone who cares a lot about my bags. I keep them stuffed and in the dust bag when they're not in use. And I avoid using any lotion or sanitizer on my hands if I'm about to grab my bag. So I don't really understand why the hardware tarnishes so much. But again, you know, when you use the bag, it obviously shows signs. So normally the Speedy comes with three straps. Uh, there's one strap here, one is on this side, and there's one in the middle right now. This is adjusted to the shoulder strap, so you don't see the middle strap. The reason is I actually went on an international flight and midway, I don't know why, I wanted to change from crossbody to shoulder strap. So I took out the middle strap here and I thought I put it back in my bag, but I had not. So I actually left it on the plane and I never found it after that. So don't do that, please. But essentially what you can do is... So you can open the strap here and then you can adjust it to whichever height you prefer. And then you can just buckle it right back. Just like that. And there's another leather piece here which you can just put inside here so that this piece does not move. Okay guys, now I'll show you what fits inside this bag. I have a couple of things that I normally take with me whenever I go outside, so I'll share them with you. To start off, I have the lock and key that comes with the Speedy. They're just the lock and key with the Speedy. I like to keep this with me just in case I have to lock the bag, I don't know, for some reason. <laughs> And then um, I have masks here for obvious reasons. I have a little hijab magnet. If you're a hijabi, you definitely know. Just back up. <laughs> I have hand sanitizer, some hand cream. I have my wallet. This is the Clements wallet. It's a zipper wallet um, and it has some card slots inside. So I really like this, super smooth. And then I have like a tech accessory pouch. This has my AirPods, I have some converters for my phone in case I need them, some wired headphones in case my AirPods die, and a microfiber cloth to clean my phone. I also have my diary. I'm very old school, so I like to write down everything. Um, so I have some pens. It's very simple. I have my actual planner on my desktop, but I like to carry this with me. I also have my asthma pump and my car keys i have my keys to the house I and lastly i have the mini pochette i love this piece so much it's such a classic it's so beautiful i use this to keep my makeup essentials so i have some lip liners some lipsticks some lip glosses 
I have a cream blush and a blotterazzi. So you use this for like to wipe down any oil on your face. It comes with like a beauty blender. It's very cool. Um, so anyway, so I have this as well. So now I'm gonna put all of this inside our bag. Okay, so let's start putting everything inside the bag. I always start off with the biggest items that I have, which is gonna probably be my wallet. You can see there's a lot of space still. So let's try to maybe keep this a little more organized. <laughs> and I'll put in my planner. And, and then in here, I'm actually gonna put in my hijab magnets because I know I'm gonna lose them because um, this bag you lose a lot of things so I'm gonna put this in here as well in the pocket here I like to put the lock and key so that's gonna go in there and then we have like the creams and the hand sanitizers uh, my asthma pump and then the key fob I'm for my car I'm also gonna put inside here and then we have my keys and we have the two pens. So as you can see, oop, I forgot the masks. And you have the masks. Okay, so as you can see, there's still a lot of room that you can play around with. It closes up perfectly fine, no problem. This is what it looks like so far. So with the Speedy, although this is a great bag, like I said, you kind of lose everything once you put it inside the bag because it's essentially a big black hole. So. That's, I guess that's like a pro and a con that you have so much space, but so much space that if you start just throwing things in your bag, it gets quite heavy. So in order to avoid it, I actually bought a bag organizer, which I'll show you guys. So I normally get my bag organizers from Samorga. I had to go on an international trip soon, so I just picked one off of Amazon. This is the Ongear 50. That's what I guess what it's called. Um, but this is what it looks like. There's a lot of pockets in here. Excuse me if it's a bit dirty, but you have this big pocket here if you want to take along some water bottles with you. And you have this big pocket here. You have pockets on the side. I love this pocket for any pens or any lip liners that I'm taking. And there's also pockets on the back here. This pocket I love because I have an iPad mini and it fits perfectly in here. So that's why I love this pocket. But I'll show you everything that I fit inside my bag inside the organizer and then we'll put the organizer inside the bag. So as you can see, everything is organized inside this bag and there's still a lot of space. Like if I wanted to take a water bottle, I can definitely fit in a water bottle or any extra items on the side here. But for the most part, it's pretty compact. So let's put this inside the bag. Now putting the bag organizer inside the bag is gonna be a bit tricky. So what I'm gonna do is squinch the side here and kind of hold it like that. And then we're gonna try to put it inside here. Alrighty, there you go. So this is what the bag looks like with the organizer and i got the red color so that it matches the interior of the bag and it just looks so beautiful so now i don't have anything inside the pockets here i just have everything inside the organizer and once you zip it up it holds the structure quite well of the bag it's giving the bag a lot more structure than it had before this is a very classic piece to have in your collection especially if you are just getting started in luxury as mentioned before, this bag is mainly canvas, so you don't have to worry about scratches, color transfers, or peeling of the material. The leather is also treated, very easy to clean, so you have peace of mind when you carry it. When I purchased this bag around seven years ago, it was around 1,000 USD. Now the price has increased to 1,890 USD. Although I do not purchase my bags with the intention to resell them, but if you are someone who likes to switch bags a lot, then you can even make some money off of the bag in the long run when you decide to resell them. This is a classic style, so it'll always be trending. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the review and what fits inside the Speedy. Keep watching till the end, we'll all include some mod shots of the bag. Again, please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video and comment below on what you would like to see next. Enjoy your time. Bye.